Hello and welcome back to another meal prep video. I haven't done one of these for a while so I thought I'd give it a go and show you what I'm making at the moment. So I've been making sourdough a lot recently to try and get it as good as possible. Some Mexican black beans, some paste for making Thai green curry during the week, a really nice rich tomato sauce with some meatballs that I can do for different things and also a vegan tagine. So when it comes to meal prepping, I like to go back to basics. Over Christmas, I actually got a lot of cookbooks for presents, which is basically what I asked for. So I always go back and look through the recipes to see new things that I could try for the week, what I already have in my cupboard, so to reduce food waste as much as possible. And I also look in my little folder that I keep personal recipes that I've tried before and really enjoy. And But this year I'm definitely trying to branch out and look for new flavors, experiment with different things, and yeah, just get really creative. I always start the week off by making sourdough. I'm trying to get as good as possible at this because I want it to be just one of those things that doesn't necessarily need to remember instructions. I can just go on autopilot. I've also been changing up the recipe I've used and go for half white flour and half wholemeal. And I've been taking really good care of my starter. Taking good care of your starter, I think seems to be the most important thing when it comes to sourdough. So if you're a little bit intimidated, I would definitely try making sourdough for catcher first because that is such an easy recipe and hopefully will give you the confidence to then explore bread. Although to be honest, if you just follow some easy simple recipes and you just have a day where you're either working from home or it's the weekend and you just have a bit of time to spare, then following a normal recipe can definitely bring you a lot of the tips that you need and hopefully your sourdough will taste delicious even if it doesn't look perfect like mine usually doesn't. So the first proper recipe I'm making is Mexican black beans by Rainbow Plant Life. The only thing I added just was a couple of bay leaves and also some adobo better than bouillon. I really like those vegetable stocks because they add so much flavor with just a really small amount. But this recipe is incredibly simple and it's definitely one of my staples now because we like to use it for things like just adding it onto rice, maybe into tacos or burritos. And it's very simple when it comes to the actual base ingredients. It's just onion, chili, garlic and tomatoes and black beans. Because this recipe calls for black beans as well as the juices, I do tend to get either organic black beans with no salt added or just trying to get really really simple ingredients in them. Other than that I just tend to go for the dried ones. So for the Thai green curry, for food prep I find that actually it's so much nicer to be able to have things to make your life easier during the week, if you, especially if you don't like eating meals that are already prepared and you have to heat them up. If you make something like a Thai green curry paste, then during the week all you have to do is throw it in a pan, add the coconut milk, vegetables, tofu, whatever you want to add, and some lime leaves. And also if you can get hold of Thai basil, this really makes it delicious too. And then it makes the whole process of cooking from about an hour down to about 15 minutes, which makes a huge difference when you're really busy during the week, as I'm sure most of you are. I followed a pretty authentic recipe, but then I just tried to change it to make it vegan. And also I couldn't find any mackerel limes, so I used just a normal lime. I also couldn't find coriander root, so I just used coriander stems instead. Now, of course, I don't use fish sauce in my recipes because I'm vegan, so I just use a little bit of yondu and a little bit of white miso to give that sort of umami, salty flavor. And that's it. I'm going to keep this in an airtight container and keep it in the fridge for about a couple of days until my wisdom teeth have healed and I can eat spicy food again. I always like to have a really simple but delicious tomato sauce in the fridge and this is a really good thing to make in winter because you tend to have a lot more root vegetables around like celery, carrots, onions and you can just make a really easy mirepoix and blend it up or process it to make it really small and to save time and then I just cook this in a pan in some of the sun-dried tomato olive oil for about 10 minutes with the lid on. 
Once I've done that, I just add the fresh oregano and these tins of tomatoes. And then I'll go ahead and add about half of one of those tins of water. And I'll let this cook for maybe one to two hours to make it really, really delicious. In the meantime, I'm gonna try making that veg tagine. My parents make one at home, which is so delicious. And I never tried making one myself. So I thought this would be a really good way to try and get in as many vegetables as possible. As well as chickpeas and trying out new flavors that I haven't actually cooked with before, but I've definitely eaten and have absolutely loved. I made the mistake by throwing all of this in the oven and cooking it in one go. And you're supposed to do it slightly separately, but that doesn't matter. It still turned out really nice. And when it's ready to make, I usually have it just with some couscous. Unfortunately, I didn't have any harissa paste, which is what I would usually stir through this. So instead, I just had some preserved lemon paste and some coriander. When the tomato sauce had cooled down, I just transferred it into these two jars. I put the small one in the freezer so that I had it for another time. And then the big one I put in the fridge so that I could just make pasta sauce whenever I wanted to. I also decided to make some impossible meat meatballs. And this was a little bit of a mistake because I forget that when you defrost them, you can't refreeze them. So these have to be in the fridge. So it's not the best for a longer term meal prep, but it's fine if you're just having them for the week. Especially if you want to make different things like spaghetti and meatballs or you want to have a meatball sub, something I've discovered recently in the US. Not sure how I feel about that, but you never know, could be delicious. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I just followed the recipe from the Impossible Foods website and I just omitted the egg and the cheese to make it vegan for me. When these were ready, I just transferred them to a container so that I could put them in the fridge and just get them out whenever I wanted to. My husband actually used some of these in some tacos that he made the other night as well. I was feeling pretty hungry today for lunch and I wanted something super soft because I just had my wisdom teeth out and this was honestly perfect. I definitely overcooked the pasta a little bit to make it softer, but I really enjoyed this recipe and may I'm not sure if I'll make the meatballs again, but I definitely like the impossible meat for spaghetti bolognese. Hello. So after I do all my meal planning and prepping, I go back over all the food, especially when, once I start to eat it and decide which of the recipes are definitely worth repeating and which probably aren't. And this is my recipe book in terms of ingredient list. So for all the recipes that I actually like and will definitely make again, I'll then write down all the ingredients in this book so that I always have a list of everything that I would need here so that I can go shopping without much thought in terms of meal prepping and have lists of things that I need to get. I'm gonna end the video here because I had my wisp teeth out two days ago and I'm still not feeling my best. This video is definitely supposed to be a bit longer but this was not a planned thing. And as you can see, my face is uh, still very swollen. I look like a bit of a chipmunk today. <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.